Hello and welcome to another edition of Rugby Challenge 3 and today I thought we could mix it up a little bit and go with something totally different and totally out there. The last two games I've done, big teams that a lot of people would have known about. But today, today I'm showing a bit of national pride, not as much as the last episode. But I am going to be playing with some teams I found online for the American Rugby Competition Pro Rugby. So it's going to be San Diego versus Denver. Only a .1 rating difference between the two. And we are going to play this somewhere interesting. I'm going to pull this in. I'm going to go to Toronto because we can... Uh, night rugby here in Toronto between San Diego and Denver straight into it let's go and we still have the neck wedgie glitch I think it is a problem with the amount of resources that OBS is taking up it is just causing a very very silly glitch a glitch a glitch a glitch Shut up about the glitch! And yeah, let's just get straight into it. Here we go. Pro rugby match here. And we've got a lot of people that I don't know. And a lot of people that I don't know. But let's get into it. I've never actually been to San Diego, let alone been to a San Diego pro rugby match. But that is just the team I've chosen because they're blue. And I signed them an Orca logo because I can so, Release. what I did is, this morning, I was just messing around with some leagues and competitions. And as we get the steal here, I was just messing around with some leagues and competitions. And I was looking online for some teams. And I found these guys, all five teams for pro rugby. As we get the try, bang on. And so, they had all of the rosters and some pretty accurate jerseys but then when I took a look at them I realized there were a few things I didn't like such as the emblem or the stadium they were assigned so I went and downloaded them gave them a new logo gave them all and gave each of them a stadium and put them into a little competition but yes here we are I just chose San Diego because I don't know, because they're blue. <laughs> and that happened. Showing why some of these people are not good enough for Super Rugby or any major competitions and instead playing in an American League. McKenzie dives on the awful pass and it's not even going to try and pronounce it. Biden's. Nagiwa, that's definitely an African name. And he kicks it into space. There's going to be a Denver player on him. but he And he is definitely going to get a line break here. San Diego trying to respond well with the kick upfield by Denver. But just cannot get that far. Takes the kick. And Bliss is going to kick this upfield. Again, a lot of... Well, I never actually said this, but... A lot of the things like kicking ability and... I don't... What did I... What have I done? Uh, I guess that's what the arrow keys do. A lot of things with kicking ability or skill things are probably not going to be the same. As these guys are not like the Wallabies or the All Blacks or England or Ireland. They're just some like fourth tier rugby player as there is a forward pass and we intercept and we have the advantage and we are going to get a scrum here very tight game Five. only one try between the two teams Six. and since that try it has just been action and action Denver putting a lot of momentum and pressure together pushing the ball downfield even when they don't have it. San Diego looking to put something together. Bliss. Bliss. 
beats his man. Bliss might go all the way. He's going to grubber it because he was definitely going to get tackled. And he's going to try and get them to force the ball. And they are going to kick it straight out just past the 22. I'd say about the 27. I wouldn't know. This isn't rugby league and they don't have measurements for every single part of the field. And they're just going to go deep with this line out. Marap, which is definitely going to be like Egyptian or something. Sun Suniola gets the ball taken off him. And this ball is going to go out just past the 50. It is going to be another line out. And they're going to go very, very deep all the way to Barber. Bliss to Suniala to McKenzie to McKenzie who is going to kick it up and try and pin them back inside their five it's not going to work as the kick upfield comes and Tio is going to get tackled and Suniala is going to pass it off to not even going to try and pronounce that because I don't want to be offensive And Toff to Taufere to Mr. 14, who goes in for the try. Very, very exciting stuff. San Diego finally looking like they're going to provide me with a win on episode 3 of the Rugby Challenge 3 random test match series, which is what I'm definitely going to call it now. makes the conversion 14 nothing San Diego showing their dominance over Denver and this is already the second time I've played this match today so I think we can clearly see who is the better team as Il Nicky takes it it looks like it might be stolen here by by Denver but no it is stolen by Denver and there's a line break too by 14 and they are going to go in and make this a little tighter. Denver with the score. Conversion on the way. Try by Mike Garrity. And they are lining up the conversion here with the Toronto Tower behind them. And that is a siren. Denver with a try on the siren. 14-7. And you, as you can see by these numbers, San Diego definitely should win this game or should definitely be up by a little more looking good from here if they can just maintain this lead maybe tack on an insurance try uh, they can win this game but McKenzie to, to Bo Doyle Doyle is going to get through here and he is going to pass it off to Suniala Suniala with the rubber no he doesn't get it off and he is dragged into touch right by the Denver 10 Oh, really exciting stuff. And there's no way Doyle's going to be able to get to this, and we're going to get extremely slow motion line out. I'm not going to even... Ugh. That is really hard when there's a ball right on the sideline, because you cannot touch that, that uh, movement stick, because you might end up accidentally walking out of bounds. Or into touch rather because this is rugby but and the steal by Suniala to ta Tao Fede and there's going to be a steal because the support is not there reminding me that I should probably do a substitution do we have a lock four we have a lock four <sighs> I want to keep Suliana in there for a little bit more. There, there's going to be a substitution here. Su Su Samoa is going to go off, and Bursic is going to come back on. I apologize if I mispronounce these names. And we are going to again go very deep. Suniala, Suniala. Mackenzie is going to grubber it. 
up. And he is going to chase his own grubber and pick it up. He is going to break the line and he will be able to pick up his own grubber and score right under the post. San Diego with another try. Definitely. What is this? Wrong game. Grubber kicked the ball between the... Well, that's not even what I did, but all right, then. Uh, Morap is going to go for the conversion. Or, nope, that was his try, sorry. Wait, what? Never mind, then. There's the conversion to take a 14-point lead over Denver. And usually when someone says San Diego 21, Denver 7, you think, man, the Chargers are really putting it on the Broncos. But no. This is Super Rugby, or not Super Rugby, this is just regular Rugby. It's probably like the opposite of Super Rugby. It's the opposite of Super. Average? Average Rugby! That's what they should name this, not Pro Rugby, Average Rugby. I'll drop a logo and everything. Get on that. No, they should make a second rugby competition, this, uh, this time with more focus on the East Coast and call that average rugby, and every year they play a championship game, just like the NFL and the AFL, or Amer American Football League used to do before their amalgamation and turning into the NFL with the a NFC and the AFC. And I cannot believe I said amalgamation with a cold and actually managed to get it out audibly. Will there be support for San Diego? They're going to try and get this, but they will not get it. But Garber chasing, but Bliss is going to be the man to tackle him. And I just realized that some of our men are still tired out there. And they're going to try and steal this. And we're going to get the holding on penalty just in time for the substitution. Double substitution, actually. And... I think I'm actually going to flex my kicking muscle and see if I can get it in from past the 50. Going to angle it a little bit. Ooh, this is going to be either very good or very bad. It's going. It's going. And he made it. He made it from past the 50 to put them up by 17. Oh, man, that is the longest kick I've ever done in this game. But straight in front, no issues. What a kick. And, of course, we knock it on immediately and then pick it up because we're idiots. <laughs> so it's going to be Scrum Feed Denver Crouch. right here, wherever Point. we are. Somewhere between the 10 and the 22. Sit. We're going to try very hard to win this back. But, again, we don't really need to. We've got a two-try lead plus the amazing... 50 plus meter conversion and the only time I will ever use meters is rugby because that's just what the measurements are and I don't have time to convert it into yards and I'd say that that's basically a 6 yard field goal but again this is not football this is Rugby. This is average rugby, everybody. The McKen Denver looking, putting their first stretch of plays together, but they walk out right in front of the flag. And we're going to get a five meter line out. And that is going to be a not straight penalty or option. Or not! It is not. That is a very, very big surprise. And we're going to try and hold on to this. And Bliss is going to try and kick it upfield. Bliss is going to get the bounce at the 50 and it is going to go out. And that's the game. Did not even look at the clock. And I get my first win at Rugby Challenge 3 on a video. Tremendous. Um, so yeah. Three tries with three conversions and one penalty goal. 
from 50 something out basically a 60 yard field goal so yeah and let's take a look at the numbers yep definitely had a lot of possession but not a lot of territory nine line breaks to six pretty even kicks nine handling errors though that sounds like me anyway thanks for watching i'm probably gonna film another one or two videos i don't just basically gonna film until i decide to stop but anyway thanks for watching and i'll see you next time